Big cleanup is underway tonight following historic flooding around the St. Louis area. And after declaring a state of emergency, the Lieutenant Governor of Missouri says the damage he's seen it firsthand. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Jackson. And I'm Ann Allred in for Mike Bush. The record rainfall and flash flooding has left longtime businesses in the St. Peter's community with thousands of dollars in damage. Our Ryan Henson joins us live from St. Peter's tonight with the recovery efforts. Ryan. Yeah, the Lieutenant Governor actually was here just a couple of hours ago visiting this American Legion post behind me. They also have hobos at the lot at the Legion here as a restaurant inside. They are seeing significant Damage. Their cleanup effort lasting days. They said they won't even be able to open until three o'clock on Friday. But Lieutenant Governor delivering a message of hope, one that other St. Peter's businesses hope comes through. Well, I used to have pallets, all my pallets washed away. You know, this is what my garden center was and everything just kind of floated. Um, and it was up to, uh, you can see the debris. See, look how tall it was. All the way up there. Lisa Hageman's life work washed away Tuesday morning, hours before she was supposed to open up after a three week vacation. Finally got the, um, the doors open, but I had to go in the back door and crawl through to get this one open. So it just looks like everything got picked up and uh, floated, floated away. It's just, uh, and then bam, poof, gone. Here's what it looked like Tuesday. A flood that the owner estimates caused more than $50,000 worth of damage. I felt like somebody just punched me in the stomach. Plants, art, antiques now ruined, some of which can't be replaced. I think this was my dad's. He was 95 yesterday, my dad. He's not around anymore, but all this happened on his birthday. Lieutenant Governor Mike Kehoe visited St. Peter's today. He knows the pain businesses are feeling because he bought a business. Then months later, the flood of 93 ruined it. And I didn't have flood insurance because guess why? The business I bought, it's not in the flood area. And so I've been through this. I'm just trying to move this stuff. Fortunately, the community and customers have rallied to help in the cleanup effort at Omas. You know, owning a business, it's just like, you know, want Rob Peter to pay Paul and you just try and make ends meet. The lieutenant governor says the paperwork for FEMA funds is already being lined up. He also reached out to the Small Business Administration to help get additional funds for private businesses.